your curve in my mind, love. But I'm taking my thoughts good time. How much was Lightfoot a part of this country? Whether you tuned in to watch the hockey game. I'll always be a Leaf fan. Or in Parliament, listening to the member from Aurelia, the small Ontario town where Lightfoot started. He is to Canadian music what the Group of Seven is to Canadian art. Everyone was talking about the singular singer-songwriter. I love his voice, I love his, the way he played the guitar, the fact that he, he plays so often on a, on a 12 string that I do also. Out in the street. Shivering, quivering, warm breath of spring. Everybody's life is just infused with the sound of Lightfoot. In Spain, Blue Rodeo's Jim Cuddy recalled the first song he learned to play. That's what you get for loving me. Oh, it's so absurd to think of a 10-year-old sitting there on a little Stella guitar. That's what you get for loving me. Lightfoot wrote hundreds, but his favorite. I think the Canadian Railroad trilogy is a good one. Oh, oh, the future has been sung. But even playing with Blue Rodeo, Lightfoot had high standards. He called me and he said, are you sure your drummer's up to it? And then he named the tempos. It's got to start at 88, then it's got to go to 112, and then it's got to come back to 92. He wrote songs with an insight that crossed generations. I remember listening to him when I was a teenager and feeling like I had this window into emotions that I was too young to know, but had the feeling might be on the horizon for me. All right, here he is now, Gordon Lightfoot. Lightfoot's friend Bob Dylan, who inducted him into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame, once said Lightfoot had the perfect catalog. You don't realize how hard it is until you try to sing one. <laughs> and I don't know if I should try. Musician Andy Schaaf is considering adding Lightfoot to the lineup tonight, inspired by the storytelling he squeezed into every verse. The more you dive into it, the more you see the subtleties. When the waves turn to to Rio member Dave Bedini says Lightfoot's longevity was no accident. This is a good lesson for all of us. He got to be 84 by continuing to be creative and doing what he loved to do. With songs that echo still. Never thought I could act this way And I've got to say that I just don't get it I don't know where we went wrong, but the feeling's gone, and I just can't get it back. So Eli, it's pretty clear so many artists are sharing stories about Gordon Lightfoot tonight. Of all of them that you've heard, what stands out? His love of touring. I mean, so many artists have stories of hanging out backstage with Lightfoot, seeing Lightfoot on stage performing again and again. In his 80s, he still was keeping up a punishing touring schedule. You could even see him in the back of cafes in Toronto where others were covering his song. So I think, Adrian, he understood that his music was a gift and one that was meant to be shared. All right, Eli, that's lovely. Thank you.